Hello guys, hi, my name is Durgesh and uh, you're watching Control Z TV. Uh, today, a video about uh, how to make Windows 10 uh, work for you. And uh, what we have here is actually uh, some utility programs that we're gonna download um, and then we're gonna install it. Uh, one of them is gonna help us take care of some of the privacy concerns we have with Microsoft collecting all this uh, data from your computer. Uh, we have uh, a utility uh, that is uh, useful in, in disabling some of these uh, data collections. And uh, then we have a utility program uh, that helps you download a bunch of programs, you know, other programs like Chrome, Firefox. These are a few here, but there are different categories that you can uh, browse and then download uh, these applications as well. It will also help you to keep those programs updated uh, on a click of a button. So we'll look at that. Um, so let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, um, I have these links uh, saved on my blog, which is uh, livinginusa.com. And then what you can do is just say uh, Windows Better Now, I believe. Yep, so Windows better now, and I don't know why I thought about that, but that's what the uh, uh, URL or the website address is. Um, so if you look down here, uh, there are two links. Those are the only two links you need uh, to make this Windows, you know, uh, go smooth. So first of all is the this software here called uh, Shut Up 10. And um, basically what it is is a free anti-spy tool. So we're going to download that. And then I'm going to open this beautiful utility called Nine Night. Of course, you're looking at their website right now. And that is the utility, a part of the utility where you're actually customizing what applications you want to download. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the Edge browser as of now because I'm so used to Chrome and for antivirus, I really like malware bytes. Uh, and then uh, don't forget the classic start. So if you like the Windows start that was in Windows XP and then in Windows 7, um, you may want to down. Of course, it was in Windows 98 as well, but um, you know the the Windows start button. That's what that classic start means. And of course, there's a PDF. Now I really like Adobe. Reader, so I don't see it in that option. So I'm going to drop that for now. And of course, if you like notes, taking notes, there's Evernote uh, and a few other uh, miscellaneous programs. So let's uh, go on the top here and uh, actually on the bottom here and say get your 99. So what this is going to do is going to download a single file called the 99 utility. Okay, I'm going to save it. And now we're going to click on open folder, or you can go to your downloads folder. Basically, that's where it's going to be saved. Now, I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to say, just say nine night utility. I just like to keep it simple. Of course, I'm going to move it to my desktop for now. And then we had downloaded shut up 10. To move that to desktop as well. Okay, let me close all these windows we don't need. And of course, uh, if you're looking for the website, it's uh, living 
in-usa.com slash windows better now and close that as well okay let's start off with the nine night utility and this is what happens when you run the nine night utility sure this is a really nice uh, looking uh, permissions window that they put together windows 10 of course you just want to do everything a little different now if you click on show details we'll actually see what's going on under the hood right so you have all of these applications that you selected it's basically downloading it and then it'll install it for you how cool is that and how uh, you know useful is that i mean you can update every one of these applications just by doing the same thing which is double clicking on that nine night utility so there you go you have your one click update and one click install so I'm going to try and pause this video here for a second. Actually, I'm going to let it go on because you want to see all these new applications coming. So I'm going to let the video run, but I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, it's going pretty fast now because these are small applications and uh, I get all okay, okay, okay. And sometimes you may get a, um, let's say failed, uh, you just retry it and uh, sometimes that'll work. Or if there is a problem downloading that application, you may wanna just try it another day and uh, it'll work. Now, when you look at your screen, you will notice that I already have .NET 4.6.2 and it's saying it's an up-to-date application. So you will check for any applications that I already had. And um, now you can see all these icons loading on the, on the side. Uh, that's Google Drive for you, loading all the different um, programs on Google Drive. Um, however, you should now see the last but not the least, I guess the malware bytes finishing up. And once that's through, I think, there you go. So we finished the install. I'm gonna close this window. Now that utility is always gonna be sitting here on my desktop. Let's now look at the Shut Up 10, kind of very offensive uh, name, but you know, that's probably what most people say to their, or talk to their uh, Windows computer. So again here, shut up. Uh, well, it's a utility again, so it just opens up and will start running. And this program um, is really useful because it is giving you a, a slider for every settings. Okay, let's take a look at the security. Um, right now, it is, you, you know, you want to create a restore point. What is this? Okay, so this software really cares about you and your programs and your computer that's why it's asking you if you want to create a restore point because with windows you know you always need backups um yeah sure there you go so i'm not going to waste too much of your time but if you look at this list you will pretty much uh understand what you need to uh keep open what you need to close uh, so just do what you think is right. I It's already taken a, a system restore point. So if anything goes wrong, you are okay. Okay, not wasting too much time. Yeah, that's just a warning. And that's the notorious uh, behavior of Windows 10 is when it updates, it is bound to change some of these settings back again. So it's a good idea. Keep this on your desktop or any other place that you find uh, you can find it easily the next time you want to run it. Anyway, so the last thing I want to show you is the um, start button. Voila! So that was installed using that utility. Uh, it was the classic Windows. So you have your programs, you know, like all programs. You know, if you're used to that, there you go. 
course, you can go back to the uh, the new windows. And I think it's this one here. So you can just on a click of a button go there. But when you click back by default, it just goes to your classic windows. So here you have folks, you have uh, some new programs to explore, uh, but also at the same time, uh, take care of your privacy and uh, also uh, be more efficient with Windows 10. I hope you like this video. If you have more questions or questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching. And I hope uh, this video was not too long and I'm gonna shut up now.